How do you PLS. how do you like this pirate? Is this the sort of pirate you're interested in? <laughs> oh fuck, it's so shit. Pretty eyes. Pretty eyes. Oh, I'm glad you think so. No. One piece mango. You don't like it? You do like it? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. It's close as it might be that. Why is it doing that? Oh, I know why. Hang on. White beard. Hang on, hang on. Turn off the color key. There you go. I like this. We like this? Bring back Roger. Bring Roger back Roger? On you, LOL. Santa. No, the gun upgrades shut me up the wall, and then to take the cake, fucking, if, alright, the kill shit, you know how you do the, you, you press A, like, it's not about shooting things anymore, it's about doing a very specific flowchart that involves getting health back and getting ammo from watching cutscenes, like, oh my god. Oh my god, it's nothing like Doom. Th this is Doom. You see this? Like, I, I run around, I click at things, and they die. That's- that's what Doom is! There's a little bit of- there's a little bit of back and forth of like... You go here, and then you go there, and there's a surprise here and there. There's a bit of a formula with how the levels work. That's fine. Battle arenas, linear, I don't care. What I care about is, am I- Is the core of the game loop? Look at enemy, click on enemy, enemy die. Because it's not that. That's all I need from Doom. And they fucked it up! They were like, no! It's not- it's not even a shooter! It's a- it's a- press this combination of buttons and it's so... bad. Like, <laughs> it- ah, oh, it- I'd struggle to be objective. I'd struggle to be objective with that shit, man. Actually, I have a little bit of experience with makeup. Um, also, frame rate? Hello, frame rate? What's going on there? Don't know. Maybe there's. It feels like there's something over there making the engine cry a little bit. Yeah, I did theater for a while, so. I used to have the rigid collodion and stuff. That stuff is awesome. I didn't. I didn't want to bring it on a plane, though. It felt a bit... ...iffy. I don't know. I don't like the idea of bringing... ...weird chemicals on planes. Oh, this comes down, doesn't it? What have I got? Hey, fella. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. There was a death trap in there. Um, I think there's dudes up there, too. Is that just dancing plants? Either, either. I feel like saves coming because I remember dying a lot. And then we had the crash. Maybe there's a lot of stuff going on in this level, because it feels like there's a weird... Like there's a frame drop in here or something, I don't know. Like, why would I crash specifically on this level? What's going on right now? Step camera, blender is open, let's close blender. That can't be helping. <laughs> Maybe I should turn down the settings? <laughs> I don't know. Was key. Okay, we need a yellow key for that. There's that switch which pushes down that. Do we have armor? Yes, we do. So let's not collect that until we're out of armor. Pull on health. 
Good to remember that there's health there. What do you do? You bring these two down? Yep. We had to, like, get something to put in here. The head. Very good. This is feeling a little serious, Sammy. This uh, game loop of, like, go get the thing, bring back the head, or whatever. I like it. I like serious Sam. What is that? Mushrooms. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of open area here, and I'm very concerned that I'm gonna get sniped by something. I'm pretty sure this is on Cutthroat, so we're good. I'm glad I didn't turn down the difficulty. More health. Yeah, that's good. We're, we're swimming in health. There's a hard portion over there. The rest of this stuff doesn't seem hard. It just seems like I gotta do the... Correct flow chart. I am, um, I looked into, I started working towards modding this. And then I realized, sorry, just checking the texture alignment. I realized, um, it's not PK3 format, which I'm used to. It's, uh, what's it called? It's WAD! The original mod format. Which I have no idea how to work in. So then I looked up converting WADs to PK3s. Turns out it's a pain. Oh. I don't want to accidentally pick up that health and waste it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you come here? Man, I'm not good at fighting revenants. There we go. Pick up that health now, these are 10. Yep. The wine is 10, the whiskey is 20. Save that ammo for more important hit scanners. Like you! Um... I might just real quick take a screenshot of that. Because Darch will want to know that that's this part here. 
is slightly darker than that part there, and he probably didn't want that. So we'll, um, we'll even get the, you know what, we'll get the map. Uh, no, it's tab. And we want to zoom in. Uh oh. I think that was coming for my face. Cool. Pure F2 is out, by the way, which is very exciting. I hope... The one thing I want for Pure F is... Like, more options for the text notes. They put in GIFs. You can play back GIFs. There's, like, a grouping feature that I don't understand or know about. Drawing, which felt... Weird that it wasn't already in there. They say they updated the UI. I don't know what that entails. Hierarchy, not quite sure about that either. Cabbage. I will get Pure F2. But I'm scared. I'm scared because I've got no real problem with Pure F. I don't need to update it. Here we go. So, just add that. If anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, PureF is a program that is compulsory if you're an artist, or, yeah, it's compulsory if you're an artist. Um, what does PureF do? It's the perfect reference program. If you need to trace something, or you need to, like, art in general, if you want to be good at art, if you want to improve at art, you use reference art. Use reference images. That's that's the idea of art. That's how art works. Like, you can summon ideas in your head, and generally that's what goes on in the creative process, but when you use reference art, you learn very fast. Really fucking fast. So you use reference art. This is the program for it. It's got everything you could imagine that a reference program would need, including really fast speed and, like, ease of use, the transparency um, being click throughable, so you can click on it and it won't um, change anything. So you can like trace and stuff, everything like borderless, everything that you need in a reference program. It, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Perfect for like mind mapping, really good for mind mapping. Um, it's just the best tool I can think of for like a creative person who needs to get thoughts out and it's pictorial. And it's like, I need to take screenshots of things on the computer. Oh, I need to go to um, Pinterest and collect, like, 50 images really quickly and put them somewhere. You use, you use PureRef. I can't think of another program that was anywhere near close. Though, to be honest, when it comes to looking for reference programs, I'm probably a lot less experienced than I am in drawing programs. I've scoured the fucking planet for drawing programs. Use it, LOL. Practice with it. If you practice with it, if you go to just like set yourself a goal of like, um, what do I like? I like crafts, right? And you're like, I want to go to bring up Pinterest on one side of your monitor. Just like if you're running Windows 11, it should be as simple as getting your just fucking drag your browser to the right side. Done. It's taking up the right side. Open up Pinterest. Like, uh, arts and crafts. Oh, yes, goals. Fucking whatever you want, drag it in. Drag it in. Drag it in. Probably not this. But just like stuff that you like, that you, for whatever. If you just want to look at it, if you like the idea of maybe doing it one day, that sort of thing. Do that. Get some practice in. That's it. That's all you have to do with it. You don't even have to save it. It's like get your brain used to opening it up once, you know. And then you'll be like... And then next time when you're drawing something, you need reference art, you're like, Oh, I know how to use that, and I have the perfect thing here, and I can, like, make it hover over, or I can put it over there, whatever. <laughs> Burger franchise. We don't, we don't need chit chat up anymore. What we do need is we need to paste 
this. And this. Save and go back. So put that there. Captain Whitebeard shoots facts. I do actually use Notion more than I thought I would, so maybe one day. Did Mordecai get you under Notion? <laughs> oh, bless you. Any boogers up there? Drinking through beard. That's hardcore. Hardcore is my seventh middle name. How did you know that? Meow, meow. Ah. This is the problem corner. Oh dear. That was like 80 fucking health. Man, I was on full health and I had half an armor setup thing. That's fucked up, man. That sucks. I feel like revenants do too much damage. Hang on. Mod ideas. Decrease. Are they called revenants? Yeah. Revenant damage. Fuck that, man. I feel like the, the pistol would be cooler if... Pistol, half speed... Double damage. I like to modder, but I need to figure out how to convert whites to PK3s. If I can get that down... It... it looks like... It's more or less... Tedious work. Like, you can't just have a program do it. That was my last shot. And we gotta... Build up speed. Yep, there we go. Maybe this is the lower difficulty. There's no revenants up here. I thought there were revenants up here. Oh, unless I killed them. I did. There's revenant corpses. I am. Fresh out of ammo. This is no good. Holy oh, shit. What is that? I don't know if that's, uh... Like, invincibility, or... What are you? Oh, it's supercharge. Uh... Yeah, it's good I saved. <laughs> blunderbuss E? Is that what you have, Kit? You've got a blunderbuss E? Is that instead of a she, does that mean you're a, a B? Oh, we unlocked a thing. Oh, Jesus Christ! Scared the shit out of me, dude. Those birds are just going to keep going. Um, no ammo Jones is going to go get some ammo, I think. Oh, there we go. Hey. Oh. Uh... 
Uh, yep, we'll get that. Was that 100 dot? No, it was 100 dot. So that was a bit of a waste. We'll get that whiskey. We can afford to get another whiskey. Was there one over there? Nope. That was further in. Who's shooting at me? Oh, this motherfucker. Hey. Thank you. Yeah! We're on the face. That's right, these guys don't do that much damage. Or at least that time he didn't. There's, um, in Doom, when you take damage, at least from projectiles, it's actually, um, there's a dice roll. It's random, the amount of damage you get. This is a problem that Batandi has in his games with Karkos. Kekos? Kekos? Because it's got really big open maps, and this Batani isn't the guy who made this. You'll have, like, these motherfuckers, these meatballs, sniping you. And it's just kind of fucking awkward. It's not particularly fun, it's just awkward. I'm gonna save again because this level is not forgiving. I think this secret area is insane, a bit too much, and this surprise with the two revenants back there is just, like I would keep them in, but I would decrease the damage that the revenants do. They're insane, man. Don't get the health. Holy shit! I nearly wasted like 19 health. Oi! Wreck kick on you in a second. You only really have a blunder, no bussy. Oh my god. How did I not hear that before? Oh, is that misaligned? Yes. No. I can't tell. Can we get you to stop real quick? You're annoying me. I need to I need to look at this texture. See that seems misaligned, but maybe it's because it doesn't loop around properly. Yeah, everything else is lined up. Dutch is probably aware of this. He doesn't need to hear about that. <gasps> Fucking wasted the health. After all that. It's alright, there's more. See, look at this guy. He's just throwing little balls at me. Where did the revenants go? There were two here. What the? Maybe they spawn when you do something? I don't know. Interesting. So this is the new area we unlocked. So, oh, hi. Oh! Wait, sorry, who was on lunch break? We'll make it. Wow. I'm 
gonna try and save that ammo. Ammo? Armor. Uh, we'll make it. I'm doing this because I did a whole bunch of uh, work and I'm very happy with myself. I'm rewarding myself. Oh man, I just missed like five shots. Not something you want to do with a, a normal flintlock. Let's not get that armor. Oh, these trees blocked me in. God damn it, look. Oh. No, I guess I'm just shit. Did you die, my good sir? Thank you. That guy's not gonna die for ages. Oh. What does that do? Nothing. Cool. How dare you be happy with yourself? Oh, it opened up that. Secret exit. Some But I didn't dig here. You need a shovel. Oh! What's your question, wall maker? What is your question? My question is where did the revenants go? That guy saw me heal and is like, this is the perfect time to shoot. Direction. I can't, I can't handle emotionally, I can't handle losing all that progress. So I'm gonna save. Um, I would have... A plethora of advice for you. I would have a lot of advice for you. But my advice would be superseded. I think I'm using that word correctly. Maybe let me double check that real quick. Superseded. To replace something, especially something old. My... Okay, that, not exactly. My advice would not be anywhere near as good to you or useful to you as this fellow's advice. Oh, uh. There's one video that you should start with from his, but he, he goes over everything. He thinks about all the things that I think about, which is like, not only being an entertaining, uh, dungeon master, but also being like an ethical dungeon master, and like the balance of planning to not planning, you can you can go into a D and D game, like you can go into a Fallout game and not have any prep ready. You can go in there and not understand any of the rules, Spits. and it can work. It's about your mindset. It's about how like optimistic you are. Optimism is the key. It's the most important thing. If you don't have that, then, like, life sucks in general. So, I don't know. I can't, I can't help that. But, 
Where's the... Actually, he'd probably have a he'd probably have a better idea of where to start you than I would. I'm wanting to make it at least semi sandbox, which I feel is hard to do in a region with little to no law. Sandbox. Um, it's only hard if you tell yourself that you have to um, be uh, correct in the law. That's the only time it's hard. And if you tell yourself that, then you're not going to have a good time. So, I would say just don't. Don't do that. Like, do sandbox. Yes, always do sandbox. If your players are like, hang on, we don't want to do the quest. We've actually got an idea. Um, Dungeon Master, where's the closest toilet? And you're like, um, it's, I don't know, it's behind the... Like, you just fucking make it up on the spot, right? It's out back. It's behind the building. You know, let them do their thing. Don't, don't railroad them. So, I wouldn't, I would never think of a and d adventure as a sandbox. I would think of it as, um, I've got a few key plot points. I've written story, quote unquote. I know how to run, I know how to write a good story. How do I, um, make sure that whatever the players want to do, it rolls back into the story. That's it. Actually, yeah, maybe that is a good place to start where I was going to push you. Um, here. That's for everyone. Every, every can watch that, but... Double forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash watch question mark V equals sign tbfp 7 sky for ampersand T equals sign 6 S ampersand PP equals sign YGUOZ 3 JLYXQGZ 2 0 GMZI percent sign 3D. Erect cabbage. <laughs> I'll send that to you as well, privately, Willmaker. Start there. If it's the only video you watch, it is the most important video. So, it's perfect. I would only tell you the things in that video wrong. Not wrong. I would be less efficient than he would be. Once you understand the one to one of story writing, you've, you've got it. You know how to be a good DM. You're done. You don't have to try ever again. You can... There's a lot of other videos that help with more specific stuff. Like anxiety of being a GM and all the stuff that goes around that. Yeah, he's, he's a fantastic fella. He's going to give you much better advice than I would. Or he'll do it with Grice's maxims more efficiently, I'd say. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, I killed the cocker. Killed the cocker. What is the second question? You must tell me. Deliver me the question. What's something you would want to see explored in a Fallout game that I could maybe steal your idea for my campaign? Dinks K K. Cook Slayer. Cook Slayer. What is something I would want to see explored? Uh. Nuka Girl's Pussy! No. I think... Something that would be cool in Fallout. I don't know. I feel like what I like about Fallout is all the stuff that I've already explored. ADMDAD one shot once and it was an interesting experience NGL. I 
And it does sound cool. I like the idea of playing with an amateur um, dungeon master and, like, trying to help them, more or less. There's only so much you can do. Because, like, there's a lot of reoccurring issues. Um. Whoa, what's going on with my head? I need to put this there. Did I save that? Yes, I did. What, uh, did you just do, like, a regular fantasy sort of setting, Kit? Also, I'm still thinking about the Fallout thing. I... I don't know, Warmaker. I don't know. Probably, you know what? Okay. At least as a player, if it was D&D &D and it was Fallout, I personally like the idea of... Um, long-term management of a... What am I trying to think of? Not a militia. Maybe a militia. A commune. Long-term management of a commune, right? Not like, uh, what are you, what are you doing now? Like, you've gone and you've shot the bad guy, da da da. No, it's like, what are, what are today's, what are, what are this week's, like, orders for your people? And then, like, things progress really quickly like that. Like, you, you could do months in one session, months in the next session sort of thing. That is what I would like, but that's a very particular thing to me. I, I don't think that would be a common thing for people to be interested in. But I could be wrong. So as far as what's in the setting so far, I have a not as evil end play. The dead space mutants, invasion by a foreign power, and delving into some of the love corruption elements. You've got so much already, Warmaker. You don't need to you don't need to have more stuff in there. I would worry about running the first session. I would be worried not about the story content anymore. I'd be more worried about your attitude and how you intend to deliver the story and the story beats, like the energy of the story, the ups and the downs. I'd be worried about... Um, Yeah, the delivery of the story, not the story anymore. You, you've... You've definitely thought about it a lot. Which tells me you've got enough stuff to work with. More than enough. And Kit, you did it based on your world, your story that I... narrated? That I narrated that start thing for? I want more of that to narrate, by the way. The goal is to find and rescue... Some people from a group of cat kidnappers. Oh no, a different story, a different lore. Oh. oh. Interesting. I don't think I was supposed to be here yet. I do want to. Oh my god. I lost, like, all my health. See that? Okay, so this guy does do a ton of damage. It's just that one time he did damage, it wasn't that much. What did I gonna say? Where the hell am I? Oh, there's the... The things are over there. Okay, okay, okay. I know where I am. Let's go get that armor. Because we've definitely taken enough damage now. Most of it is focused oh. on things, but Goddess Kitlaw is tangled in there as well as portions oh, of the shit. Of Kitlaw, the Winter Queen and Summer King and a couple other things. So I think the main idea points I have for the first session is the party arrives to Brooklyn, called the Broken Land, by Ferry and arrive at a settlement called the Gate. All I have.
focused on the ziz. The sprawling world. I want... Kit, I want pieces of your sprawling world. I want chunks. Some of it's written down. There's some short stories and such on the website I use to publish. I want... I want these short stories. I want you to point at one for me to narrate. I need to finish chat two of Tom's adventures. Tom's adventures? I'll let me look. Send it to me on Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main idea points I have for the first session. Party arrived to Brooklyn! Hey! Run the narrator launching a nuke that destroys project purity. That's more than enough, Warmaker. What you've written to me is more than enough. The best DMs do very little preparation. They might have, like, if they've got a big budget, then they might have, like, someone create uh, an environment or something. Comic, Brooke, and you did. Um, hmm. Uh, maybe not. Hey, you got paid. Well, make a you gotta you gotta watch the GM fella. Vitalia's delivery. And we'll make a seven 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 hell yeah. At least for the major NPCs and factions. Oh, we're on 169. Oh, very good. We're doing very well. Cool. And I've got the yellow key, which maybe helps me unlock the shovel. I don't remember where the yellow key went to. There's a blue door over there? Or is this yellow? Here's the- ah, uh, this is yellow. What's a faction idea you have for Fallout? Um... I have, like, the reverse of a faction idea for Fallout. In... In Final October... Fallout exists within Final October. Like, uh, well, you know, like... What's a word? Oh, and a follow-up question, Dinks K -E -K. Um... You know, like a legally distinct variation of Fallout exists within... I've actually got... I'm not sure if you know about this, but Google Maps does a thing where you can create your own sections of a map you can have like your own version of earth right i've got that i've got that for final october and i've got like lots of little points and stuff maybe i'm going a bit overboard <laughs> this is this has stopped being uh pirate doom for a bit hasn't it but yeah on earth you've got like a chunk of fallout shit where is this probably isn't the best way to show you Wasteland shit. I have a lot of factions in... And, like, big factions and small factions in 
final October. And I because they interact with have a presence in NYC or not as I have institute exodits that fled to the region after the institute was destroyed in four. Wallmaker, you worried way too much about details. Maybe I should be pointing you towards a no no no. Once you watch the one two one thing, you'll be good, I think. But it seems like it seems like you're very hung up on details and being accurate. If something's not accurate to the story, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People, if people are there to make sure that you're like one to one with what is what should be happening and stuff, fucking, they're not there to have a good time, man. They're pricks. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, there's definitely, like, I'm sure Guy, the great GM, I'm sure he can fucking put it in better terms and help you through that more. But there's no, it's not beneficial to be hung up on details. It will slow you down, it will make you anxious about getting things right, it'll make you over plan to hell and back. Don't worry about details. Go into it thinking, oh, it's just going to be a funny game, and they're probably going to fuck a dragon. Center. And there's no dragons, but who the fuck cares? Go into it with that attitude, and when you rem when you happen to remember Fallout shit, just be like, oh yeah, there's a crate of nuka collar in the corner. That's, that's all you gotta do. Just do whatever the fuck you can that... Uh, there's a thing called, the, like, the giant banana... Ah, there's... Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it, man. I should... No, I, I don't I don't have to concentrate on Pirate Doom, but I feel like if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna cut out this portion of the stream and turn it into a Pirate Doom video, I feel like it, it should... <laughs> it's alright. It's okay if it derails, don't worry about it. Oh dear. That's a lot of hits, Ken. Fuck you. Fuck this guy. Cool. Um, don't need health. I'll make sure to watch that video. I need the red key. I wonder if the shovel's in here. Yeah, the tree's got a face. Oh. It's not the Deku tree, is it? Oh. Kit, is that the Deku tree? No. No, probably not. Like, well, at least the texture from off the Deku tree. Can't see what's throwing shit at me. I don't think so. Uh, I didn't think so either. It just it was a little reminiscent. I'm gonna save here because if I lose any more progress, I'm gonna cry. Rated tribe ideas. Raiders are a lot of fun. What's screaming in that box, man? Oh, Lost Souls. Oh, the ammo tower. Oh, you are supposed to fall here, okay. Then do I go back up? Yes. On the spinach there, of course. But what is back here?
You know what? Gun swap has to be way faster. At my have four raider tribes. The cult of braces, the chemistry dogs, the surgeons, and the rag nomads. Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. The chem dogs, do they do they have a grandpa like a grandfather figure? The cult of braces. Do the cult of braces have like this this fixation on like perfection? I think I think I might have a good I think I might understand where a little bit of the inspiration came from. But that's fucking sick. Can you imagine like Chaos God themed raiders? That's fucking awesome, man. I love that. The cult of graces are inspired by a song I like about a group of people that constantly grow pieces of metal to their bodies. I thought I heard that correctly. Graft pieces of metal to their bodies. Oh, those weren't lost souls. Those weren't lost souls. Whew. Fuck. That was a very cool moment. That was a cool- that- that was genuine panic. Like, I saw all the- the cannonballs and I was like, there must be a lot of lost souls in there. They weren't lost souls. I think there's a broken parrot in the wall here. Metal from around their home. It's the point where they have nothing left of their home. There's nothing to chop. They should have added ricochet to cannonball. Where do I take the red key? The red key goes there? The chemistry dogs are basically a group of drug dealers forward slash chemical with their rings. They take off the various hostile and they try to sell chemistry to the various communities. Am I still spinached? I'm not sure. Wait, I'm not allowed in there anymore? I have to hit it every time, okay. I am spinached. Oh. So it just stays. Maybe I have to take damage to lose the spinach? I don't know how it works. Ow. Hmm? Ricochet of the cannonball. I'm not sure. That definitely, that's a thing in Serious Sam. Like, they have the ricochet and then they also explode on impact. Well, no, they don't explode on impact, do they? They explode after a while. I definitely- I like how the cannonballs work in, um... Serious Sam. But, coding Ricochet into Doom, or... Coding the, the- the more realistic, complete penetration of a cannonball into Pirate Doom. But, uh, into Doom. Um... I don't know, it's a big ask when there's already, like, a rocket launcher and a rocket launcher's cool, and it's like, well, why not just reskin it? Like, it's... Not supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be fun, but at the same time, I understand that it's still fun. Have the ricochet there. I don't know. 
I think what is done with the cannonball is fine. See, I still got the spinach, so maybe I could chop him? No. No, I can't. But the spinach stays, is what I'm to understand. Oh. So the chemical dogs, drug dealers, they're actually friendly. But they're kind of fucked up at the same time. That makes sense. Surgeons. A vampire? Wait, no, no. They're inspired by the vampire clans of Black Marsh. I don't know much about... I've, this is the first I'm hearing of vampire clans from Black Marsh. I know Black Marsh is where the Argonians are from, right? The surgeons are cannibals. Oh! Wood elves? They eat their victims over the course of days and keep them alive while they do it. Oh! And the Rad Nomads are extremist cult of the Children of Adam. They worship dead space mutants. And they want to spread the mist across the rest of the Imperial Ways. Yeah! So the Rad Nomads. That's Nurgle. Gotcha. Very good. Oh, we got the red key. I want to go back to the tree now. Because we can. Shovel? Oh. Oh, the hole in the tree is for a reason. It's a hole! Looks like I could use some voodoo power here. What? Yes, so in Black Marsh. Huh? Kidnap people and use illusion magic to disguise themselves as their victims. What the fuck? All the while their victims are being slowly. Board asterisk. Do that you do that you do so well. That's fucked up, Warmaker. I don't like that. Go as far as to say I dislike it. I just reached for the coffee, but I can't drink it now. Hmm. Hey, let's uh, let's not do all that again. It's a long level. Love a black marsh. Huh. I want to play a game set there so bad. I like the idea of um but is Black Marsh in Elder Scrolls Online? Is Elder Scrolls Online any good? From what I understand Oh from what I've been told, they had a big problem with the inventory. Like, not a big problem, but they intentionally made you have a really shit inventory so that the game would take forever to play but I could be wrong 
Alright, now I've got the grey skull. But I also need to kill things. Okay. That's all of them. Nash. In the tree is still a bit beautiful. I usually have the subscription which makes crafting materials not use up in the tree slots, which is incredible. You enjoy Elder Scrolls Online. Do they not have Black Marsh and Elder Scrolls Online? Also, how do I get out of here? Is it not this button? It is this button. Trips back and forth to the bank. That sounds like um, the developers just not having a whole lot of respect for you. Doesn't sound good. Sounds bad. What's going on? What are these fellas? Not particularly strong. They're like arch files, but not at all. I like them. I think that's a good addition. I think I saw in the thread that he was talking about making these characters green or something, but I could be wrong. Absinthe. I don't feel anything. So that's invulnerability. Ah. I got much of it. I think I fucked up. Where are the bad guys? Oh. So I wasted the invulnerability. Good. Oh dear. Oh, there's so many. I kind of love this segment, though. Does this go up? Nope. 
Does this go up? Oh, this shit, does. What do you remember, Warmaker? I know how you talk. I know that's you. I'll hear you out. How do I get up? How do I get up, man? I think I gotta kill him. I think that's how you get up. There might be like caught on geometry up there though. Did you try button? Oh, I didn't try button. Oh, thank you. That was gonna take me a while. There's another button! Oh! Power powder. Is it a gun? What is it? I don't know. Meow 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 meow. Is there a shovel up here? I wonder if there's a shovel inside of the tree. That's the exit, okay. Okay. Let's save here because I don't want to go through the exit. I do, but I don't. Did that blink? It did! Alright, we got the voodoo powder. There's also, there was a button back here, wasn't there? Okay. Let's go use it. This looks really cool. It is really cool. The Elder Scrolls and Fallout. The second age ended in a nuclear war and the third age is post apocalyptic Sci-fi elements basically a 30-70 a 30 split of the Elder Scrolls and Fallout. You have stuff like Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil. And Kaiser's Legion. Skyrim is home to the Brotherhood of Steel. Yes, of course I'd play something like that. It, at least, if not for anything else, to check it out. But, like, that's the crux of, like... That's the whole idea of Final October, is to combine fantasy with sci-fi, to combine any fiction setting together. That's the whole idea of Final October, so... That's like, that's my thing. So we put our voodoo juice in there, and now... Huh? I'm in the tree. Hmm. Cool. That's that's straight up one hundred percent. That's an asset from Rayman. I know this to be true. I just realized. Flush face. There's the shovel. Secret shovel. The shovel would be a really funny reward from a place that looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would be. The setting is called Final October. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The bombs fell in October. No, the bombs did not fall in October. No. It's called Final October because the... 
the primary earth or whatever. Um, so you could see two the planet is Swiss cheese. It's got like a lot of little black holes in it, right? And there's a lot of black holes everywhere. The black holes go through dimensional portals, unfortunately. But the black holes, they grow and they continue to suck, right? Um, the people who are in the know in Final October are aware that the black holes will pretty much envelop everything by the end of October. And most... Most times I muck around with it, I start during the start of October. Alright. This has been a very eventful level. Also, there's more armor. Which we should get. No, I used it. Is there more armor back here? No. No more armor. It's all gone. Boink. Oh. There we go. I digged. With the shovel. Cool. That was a cool level. That was like a fucking huge adventure. Now, the time that it took me to complete this does not include all the saves and loads and deaths. It probably was like double the amount of time it actually took me. Oh shit. The majority of the playthrough has been this one level. This seems like a very... sorry. <clears throat> yeah, this seems like a very hidey place. Who knows what treasures lie buried beneath the earth? Uh. Secret path! This is, this is the sort of attitude you should have when DMing. People prefer this to being accurate to the law, alright? This. Have this sort of attitude. That is very good advice I'm happy to dispense to you. When it comes to being a dungeon master. Uh, I'll hit scan there. Can I go up here? I can. Um, let's try not dying. Oh. Oh. It's a little hit scanners up there. Weep. I am just about out of health. Oh ho ho! Alright. Player was hooked by a revenant. Yeah, they do have hook hands. Um let's try going left. Hello? Oh, oh shit. Did not intend to fall down here. 
ordinary exit. No. No! I don't want the ordinary exit. It's got a sad face on it. No! And this game keeps fucking delivering. But that last level was sick. By the end of it, like the start of it, could have done without a little bit of it, but like last session wasn't great. This session, pretty fucking good. Mate, you want to run out of HP? Thank you. Yes, I am. Wymus. King Wymus. Oh. Yeah, we've done a lot. Let's save real quick. What is up, Wymus? Where have you been? What have you been doing? Actually, you don't have to tell me any of that. I'm just happy you're here. If you need to kick back, kick back. Don't tell me shit. Reverse psychology. <laughs> we want activating windows with this one speaking head in silhouette, speaking head in silhouette, speaking head in silhouette, speaking head in silhouette. Speaking head in silhouette? What? Honestly, I don't even know how to do it. Yeah, yeah speaking head in silhouette. That's a good way of describing that emote. Hunt Showdown is not a game I have played, but from what I've seen of it, it's pretty good. I... If this world wasn't full of so many deliciously creative, beautiful things, such as Pirate Doom, Hunt Showdown is something I think I would have checked out by now. I like it. It seems like it's marketed towards people like me too, so... I don't know. I should have played it by now. Ah, oh, that's what you want. Good shit. Ooh. I didn't think that the yeah. Very good. It's going. It's very good. Hunt is one of those games you play if you hate yourself. If you bake yourself? If you hate yourself? Oh. What's that other one called that you play if you hate yourself? Was it Tarkov? Is that the... The foreskin ripping? That's a secret. Okay, so I need to hit the red. I need to get a red key. Do we? We don't have a red key. Nope. Uh, feel free to run out of health. Thank you. <laughs> At Warmaker 777, that remind me of League of Legends. I make the enemy team hate playing it. Bowler menu music. You know what had bowler menu music? Trackmania, the first one. Insanely good menu music. <laughs> track mania. Let's go. The first track mania. That fucking shit was amazing. After playing this new variation, this new flavor of um, Fortnite and realizing 
the meta is get a grenade launcher on your car and don't leave the car. <laughs> like, it makes me feel like you could get Trackmania, like, as an idea. You could get, like, that. Just, like, add grenade launchers to the cars and all of a sudden, like, the game would be... Like, you'd have all the best of both worlds. Stinky cheese. Stinky cheese. Not stinky cheese. Do I believe? Yeah. Where am I going? What am I doing? I keep walking in circles. I can't get up there, can I? No. We should deal with the uh, the motherfuckers on the ship, probably. What is this conspicuous lump? That's cool. I mean, I play to be supportive to the young lads that live in the household, but it's not unfun. At the moment, the- at the moment, listen, the meta at the moment is, like, ignore 90% of the content in the game and just put a grenade launcher on a car and stay in the car, which is weird. Um... It's not a bad game, and what they've done, um, since launch, they've done a thing where they now put in placement, uh, bots. They put in, like, fake players and they make it... They're not, not obvious about it. They don't say that they do it. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe somewhere some developer has said that they do it, but it's... It's obvious that there's a lot of bots that are in these games that are just dog shit. And that's to make you feel like you're accomplishing something. And I tell you what, it's actually cool. I like that better than regular, um, whatever they're called, Battle Royales. Regular Battle Royale games where everyone's a human? I think that shit sucks. Like, you wait forever to get something, and sometimes you get shit, sometimes you get good stuff. And then someone who's just played, like, five hours more than you just knows, like, one more trick than you and you die. And then you have to wait another, like, two hours just to learn how the fucking game works. That's shit, man. In Fortnite, you're at, least, you're at least getting a little bit of practice here and there, and you're sort of learning how the guns work a bit on these bots, right? And, and that, like, dirty feeling of, like, yeah, I killed a bot, but I was told that I was a real player. Like, that dirty, like, icky little feeling doesn't hurt anyone. doesn't hurt the bot. It's alright. It's okay. You're allowed to feel good about killing a bot. I get him? I don't think I did. No. Dude, I love Pink Ocean. My favorite ocean. <gasps> oh. Am I gonna die? Yep. Yep. Thought so. That's why you hate Apex? Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's just a normal battle royale where it's... I got Super Animal Royal, but we never played it, did we? Yeah, Apex is just another... it's a normal battle royale where there's a lot of... Uh, the servers are generally just real players, you know, and... It's not, uh, it's not always appealing. Throw in a little bit of PvE with the PvP, you know? I feel like loading saves sometimes fucks with the bot spawns. Like, I think some of them respawned or moved or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, this is Monkey Oil, of course. Oh, candy because it's pink. Mm. Mm, I follow. Ah, oh, he fucking got me. 
God damn it. What a cunt. I hate Apex cause it to tighten up all things in me. Yeah, Apex isn't a um isn't a game where where the goal of the devs was to constantly give players dopamine, whereas Fortnite is, you know, like they're like we understand our audience. Our audience is mostly children. Let's entertain them, give them all the control they need and want, and a little bit more than they deserve, and they'll be happy. God tier. There we go. And this time we save! It's an awkward ship. It's an awkward fight. That's my favorite. It's my favorite part of the level. That's not true. This is a falsehood. Is there anything here? Can I go up? I can! Oh. Hey buddy. How does that work? Oh! Look at that! It's um... It's uh... This is stairs. This is a stairway. But it looks like a ladder. That's very clever! That's- I- I love that idea! I know- I've seen people do that in Mario 64 mods before. Did you play Titanfall 2, no, I haven't played Titanfall, but I've looked at it and that one looks cool too. There's the red key. There's a bunch of baddies. Oh dear. Oh dear. I was also actually oh, you can't leave the way you came. Okay, let's uh, save you then. Even though a lot of people hated it. Huge fan of Titanfall 1. I didn't realize there was hate for it. Why was there hate for Titanfall 1? Was it just the campaign that people hated, or was it, like, the mechanics? Let's go up this way. Um, let's not kill ourselves, though. Um, it's the hit scans who are killing me, so I need to deal with those fellas. Okay, um, let's circle around behind the ship. The bad guys are being cheap, so I guess I have to be cheap. Pink lemonade. Ah, oh, the ocean. I think it's the style of like, oh, it's sunrise. No, so uh, it's sunset. So I like how the <laughs> the clouds have clearly been like hue shifted because there's yellow piss clouds. Oh. He'll die one day. Hey, got him. I don't feel like doing that ever again. Uh, I think that was all I was supposed to do. I don't particularly want the health over there more than I want to die, so... Very 
very good. So in Titanfall 1, the way the campaign worked was you got into a multiplayer lobby and basically play in like 14 interconnected multiplayer matches with different goals and stuff. Titanfall 1 was incredible and felt like you were in an actual war with other people in the lobby. You got hate because the campaign wasn't single player. Oh! Well, yeah, if it's a new thing, new ideas are gonna get hate, for sure. That's a cool idea. It is not tradition, therefore it must be terrible, you know? That's a cool idea, I like it. Hey, promise me this. You won't kill me? Oh! Oh! Mate, I can't hit you. Oh, there he goes. I think he killed himself. Ow! I just got that health, man! Jesus, I am not doing well. I'm not even focusing properly. Let's get out of this. Grab that, get out of there, I don't need to be here anymore. Um, we sure go this way. And then left? There you go. Fucking figured it out, mate. Take those bullets with me, and I'm out. Sadly, they scrapped it and made a single player campaign for Titan 14. Which was also incredible, but it was only from the perspective of one of the others, so some people were. They scrapped it and made. Where well, they scrapped the content for one and then made it two. It's only from the perspective of one of the armies. Hmm. Hmm. House of Voodoo. Let's read this. <laughs> Legends whisper of a of Grog, infused with the darkest voodoo magic, said to be the ultimate weapon. A concoction so potent, it could shatter the mightiest of foes and lay waste to entire fleets, warships and cunts and fuckers alike, with but a single blast. Okay, maybe two blasts. Three at most! Let's save it there. And call it. I've been playing that for a while and we, we did some good work today. And that's another that's another seven hour stream for you laddies and lassies. I think I think I'm ready for a proper breakfast now. Now that it's 3 20 p.m. Let's, uh, let's see what the hell's going on. Titanfall 2S campaign had some of the greatest FPS moments I've ever played though. There's a level where you are fighting dudes in a factory making manufactured homes, so you're... Killing people on a sideways house. Mm. 
pretty fucking creative. Sounds like some Terra 14 shit. Often streaming. Um, when is the next time Jerem is appearing on the internet? Tonight we might be streaming Fortnite on Ogma's channel. I don't know. Tomorrow will I be streaming? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Who knows? Gonna be appearing in a fortnight. Well, viewers. Well, viewers. Heck yeah! You smell impeccable, Rogers. Oh, shit, it's the Jared. What? Farewell.